right, so we have one more little game that we want to play that we have some mystery questions in this bowl, and we are going to choose one, and we are going to answer. Are you guys ready? Ready Let's now. do it. Y'all ready now. No, I don't know. Okay, so I will we'll start. See. I'm going to start, and I'll pass it to you. All righty. The question is, ooh, the favorite Netflix binge. Easy. Selling Sunset. <laughs> that is the easiest, easiest binge I've ever done. That is two plugs for them today. Yeah, that's some... Mm. Hey, if you guys need to make Hashtag Selling Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like to move to LA. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll go, um, I'll go. I have to say, this sounds really boring, but I will say, if you have not watched it yet, the Great British Baking Show. Oh. oh. The, okay, the Brits, number one, are fantastic. We've watched <laughs> seven seasons of that from the beginning ones. Okay, I need so to watch good. that. I haven't watched so it. So good. I love it. You've got a good crumb. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm going to have to go for Schitt's Creek. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. Listen, that's sorry. David. Oh David. My gosh. I love it. It had me at season love one, it. and oh, then yeah. I stayed it's through all favorite. the week. And I had to buy season six because I couldn't wait for it. Yeah. Yeah. Netflix. Me too. Yeah. We that's, should have watched it too. We should have watched it That's together. my favorite. Um, I mean, but hold on. So I just, during COVID, finally watched Down Abbey. <gasps> Real? Oh, Down Abbey's very oh, good. Oh, it's so good. I've never seen it. It wow. is so, so sad when it's over. It was, I was so sad, but I watched the movie. But seen, I was going to say, who's seen the Schitt's, movie? I, I had to watch it right yeah. after because yeah. I could watch it because everything had already been right. done. Already but died. for sure, Schitt's Creek is my absolute yeah. favorite. It's so good. And then Down Abbey. They totally deserved all the awards that oh, they yeah. won. Mm-hmm. I love them. Yeah. All right. I'm all right. You're going to have to watch it. You haven't okay. watched Schitt's Creek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Down Abbey. Okay. David. Hey. You, David. Next up, what is your late night jams when you're working late? What do you like to put on and listen to? Is there somebody that motivates you when you're working late at night? So I hate to say this because I get made fun of for this all the time. It's Dave Matthews. (laughs) Oh, really? (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's go to the next question. (laughs) I just can't even see that at all. You can't? No, I can't. I can't see that either. I love Dave. (laughs) Don't get say it. that out loud. Get it, girl. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. <laughs> Isn't it funny how our music choices are such a, it's such a personal mm, thing. Yeah, that, it uh, really is. Uh, my recent one is Taylor Swift's new folklore <gasps> oh, album. Oh, I love that too. It's so good. I have to, I and it's listened. like the more I listen to it, Same. the better it gets. Mm, I haven't it's, listened to it. It's, it's deep and kind of moody, though. Yeah, it's moody, and it okay, gets to it's like to that. not too hyper because I need something that's a little mellow while yeah. I'm working because mm. otherwise I get really distracted. But it's just moody enough, and it just has enough beat, and the lyrics are very mm. mm. good. Mm. Yeah. I have to write these down. Um, so I feel like I don't. I'm sorry, I don't work late because <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I get my shit done six. during the day. <laughs> Um, time management, people. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but when I do listen, it's, I have a playlist. I have a work songs playlist. Is that cheesy? But it's everything from The Killers to Blondie to Duran Duran to just things that make me feel good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I probably wouldn't listen to music. I listen to like rainymood.com, so it's a thunderstorm. Ooh. I listen to that to just like wash out all the noise. Um, yeah, for the He's emo. me falling asleep. That's, the, <laughs> that's what I listen to. Too. I am a little emo, though. He's yeah. emo. I think that I'm a little noise. emo. <laughs> yeah, it's just a good thunderstorm, and I really loudly, oh. and then I Where's can the work. Where's the black lipstick? For, uh, and a quiet walk <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Crying about things I can't change in my life. <laughs> this story of my life. <laughs> oh, y'all are a mess. Ooh, that was um, good. <laughs> What time do you start your average day? Oh, mm. that's a good one. That is a good question. I usually get up around like 6.30, oh. and I'll answer some emails, maybe get some breakfast started, and then I go to the gym, and then I come back and start working out, or getting my... <laughs> your whole day is working work, out. That's all I do is work out. You went to the gym, but you, then you're done, and then you come work and out. And then I come work out. Yeah, I'm with you. Erica. So I am also a 6, 6.30 riser. Um, I have kids at home and a dog. And so it's a whole lot of like stuff to do in the mornings. And then I leave my house so that I can focus on the mm. things that I need to do. And I need to figure out how to get the workout back in. Yeah. That's still a struggle. But. What would you guys think that I am? 
I think you're, you're a super early, early riser. Yeah. <laughs> really? I already know you're an early riser because uh, you've been calling me. Yeah. <laughs> four a.m. What have you been doing? So, I've been up for three hours. <laughs> I'll text him. At, I'll text him at seven o'clock because I know he's up. I'm like, hey, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I get up at five every morning. Yeah. Five mm-hmm. every morning, and then I'm in the office by five thirty. So I get up, I get oh. my stuff done, and I'm in the office. What and time right does away. Sarah get up? Well, Sarah works crazy hours. That's my wife. So she works crazy hours. Mm. So she gets up with me, and then I get situated, and then she'll go take a nap. Who's dictating the hours here? <laughs> I really feel like it's Sarah that wakes up, and she just gets Duval up. <laughs> I think that's what happens. I don't know. And then no. yeah, so we start pretty early, and then I actually pretty much get up on Saturdays and Sundays around five. Oof. And I get up and I work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get some. I think Saturday. that once your no, body's trained different. to get up early, and maybe yeah. it was having kids go to high school mm. back when they had mm-hmm. to be there at six a.m. But I wake. I'm up by five. Yeah. And I'm typically in my office by six. Mm-hmm. And my favorite time of day, which sounds really crazy, is from six to nine when no yes. in the morning. The oh morning my is God. beautiful. It's yeah. ideal. And I just have yeah. that quiet time to mm-hmm. super be super focused on what I really need to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. One more? Thank, Thank you. you. I thought it was <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that was my question, thank you. That was the one that got chosen. Both of my questions got removed. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay, That's last one. Ooh, golly, this is a hard one. Who would be your dream client? Mm. Oh, that one is really hard. Mm-hmm. David, he could be. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at these type of answers because dream client. Yeah, that's too much. Do you want to, to come back about. to you? Yes, Maybe come back to me later. First. I need to think. Oh God, I don't even know. Well, this is a hard question. Whose handwriting is this? <laughs> it's, that would be, it's not mine because both that, of mine got removed. Is that you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jumal, well, this is your question. You don't even know. I don't even know. know. No, I don't know. I don't know. Start um, with Wait, I, I, okay. I think somebody. Um, no, it's got to be a person. person. Yeah, no, I think somebody like. <laughs> that's what I was getting at. I was getting at. I'm looking I, for honest, a designer. I know this is tr- crazy, I and I don't. This would never happen because I. But I think someone like Tom Ford, where he's so tailored and everything is so perfect. You would want it to. I would for want Tom to. Ford? I would want to put together something no. like that for someone no that knows what he wants. He knows exactly where he's going, and that whole black on white and mm. just very clean lines. His aesthetic for his home may be very different than the way he dresses and his his line. Somebody like that, I would love to design a tailored space for, for sure, for sure. Well, that's a very interesting answer. Yeah, mm-hmm. it be, it's very unlikely pressure. from my clientele. Yeah, I would be way too intimidating. I wouldn't mind the pressure mm-hmm. though. I think I well, like the so I, intimidating. I wouldn't design it. for time because I think no I think a client like that has a very clear understanding of where he wants to go, and that's where I would Maybe I would want to take. Maybe too clear. That's a good point. Right. That's a good point. Bulldoze you over mm-hmm. with all of his design yeah. ideas. He's going to design it, and you're going to be his helper. Yeah. And I'll get credit. I'll get credit for it. I'm good with that. Love it. Love it. <laughs> no, that is. <laughs> uh, I love it. Who do you think? I don't know. That's a really hard That's question. That's a hard question. I was going to be funny and say Dave Matthews. <laughs> Some bungalow sheet. Good answer. I don't, I don't know if that. He has a winery in Charlottesville. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, he's they're, from Virginia. They may be likely. So. Oh, is he? He's from South Carolina. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't well, know that. Oh, is he? But he grew up Virginia, in Virginia. Yes. Yeah. I don't, I don't know everything there is to I don't know anything Dave about Matthews. this guy. We say stop. I don't know anything about him. Who, uh, no, I don't. A real person, I don't. I don't that's know. hard. Yeah. That is kind of hard. Dead or alive? Dead or alive? You know, that's a good song. <laughs> Cher. Michelle Obama. Oh, Cher. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama just seems like classic, beautiful, and She's fun. Fun. Yeah. A little bit. I feel like we could be best friends. Michelle uh, Obama. Call me. My DM. Call me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <She's here. laughs> But yeah, I think she would be a really fun That's person to work That's for. That's a good answer. And, that is a good answer. And I think the relationship there would then really facilitate the working yeah, relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes it easier. Yep. What do you think? We gotta come back to I you. I have no clue. Really? No clue. Yeah. Hmm. None. That's a think? tough one. That's a hard one. That is a hard Pamela, how did you let this get into our... And why did you pick that? <laughs> no. I, don't know. I, I think easy. you should have had one in there. Take that out. <laughs> one of my really deep. stupid answers should have been... <laughs> that was deep. That was deep. That's deep. I don't know. I, just I think that we would all have a, um, like a, a fast, like yeah. quick answer as to somebody that popped in our brains. No, like, I don't nobody. have one. That's you hard. Know, like, like George Clooney because he's Reese the Reese Witherspoon. Man. That's my answer. Okay. All right. Yeah, to she's fine. Out.
All right, with I this like question, we are actually just going to close yeah, this out because I think we're still confused and we're not sure. <laughs> so, if you guys have some answers, if you guys know who you think that would be your ideal client or our ideal clients that may be a good match for us, help, <laughs> <laughs> help us out. Write it in the comments below, uh, share the video, and see if any of your friends and family have some ideas about it. But for now, we're going to close out our first designer dish. Aww. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we're not happy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And so, <laughs> so, much fun. so much fun. We have some ideas that are planned, guys. So we want you to stay mm -hmm. tuned to our channels, our social media. We're going to post all of those things for you to take a look. And hopefully, I guess, we'll see you guys soon. What do you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. All right, guys. Yes. Until then, Bye. see you guys. Bye, everybody. Now the good news is, the funny part, Don't get is that this camera's been recorded. Oh.